one of the places I've been dying to go since I got to Bratislava is Devon Castle. And it looks like it's going to rain a bit today. It doesn't seem like it should be that way, but we just had a big, huge clap of thunder here. And it's such a beautiful day. To get to Devon Castle from the old city is pretty easy. Actually, you just need to take bus number 29, and that is under the bridge that has the UFO on it. So if you can get there, get under the bridge, there's a bus stop there, uh, you take the 29 bus, and if you have the Bratislava card, that transportation is free. So get on the bus, go out to Devon. It looks like it's gonna be a really nice afternoon, crossing our fingers that we will have a nice day at Devon Castle. So as it turns out, it's not a 25 minute bus ride at all. It's only a 21 minute bus ride. And then you have about a one kilometer walk to the castle, which is what I'm doing right now. The houses up here are really, really lovely. I can see why people would want to live outside the city. It's, uh, it's a little busy in the city, but out here it's really nice. And you're only a 20 minute bus ride. Hopefully the rain holds off. It looks really nice now. The clouds are starting to back away. And we have a really blue sky with nice white fluffy clouds. Right behind me is Devon Castle. It's a place where a lot of families go to spend their afternoons, probably even today, even though it was supposed to rain, but it looks really nice. Uh, so we're gonna go up here, but first I'm gonna get the drone up in the air and see if I can get a few decent shots before it starts raining, which is a possibility. So that was the easy part, the drone footage. And now I've got to walk all the way from down here to way up there, and I think it's I think it's 212 meters and it's hot out so it's going to be it's going to be quite a hike <laughs> but it needs to be done so this is where the Danube river the Danube river behind me meets the Morava river and that's why it's a good place apparently to have a castle so that's why they built it here. It was a really good place. I'm assuming both were uh, routes where people could ship things and it was a very convenient place to have a castle or a fortress of some sort. All right, we're on our way up. So if I'm reading this correctly, this is where the Iron Curtain stood, or at least the metaphorical Iron Curtain. And this is where about 400 people lost their lives trying to escape Czechoslovakia when it was under the occup occupation of the Soviets. I'm not sure if these bullet holes were there originally or if they were put there as part of the monument. Walking up this trail on a hot day like today can really wear you out. And we're not even halfway there yet. <laughs> but it's a beautiful day. You can hear a bit of thunder in the background. Well, it looks like I made it, sort of. I think I still have a few steps to go yet, but this is Devon Castle, and so far it is beautiful. If you look out over the, over the mountaintop, you can see this beautiful Slovakian village. So we're gonna stay here for a little while, see what we can learn about this place. And I forgot water, so I'm hoping they have water up here. But if not, I'll, I'll be okay. Also, I can smell manure, which I'm hoping means there's cute little animals up here. We'll see. Well, it looks like I lucked out. They have water. <laughs> which is a really good thing because it's really hot up here so we're gonna fill up definitely do not come up here in the summer without water I made it to the top and fortunately for me there's a little museum here that's modestly air-conditioned so I can at least cool down. It's a long walk up here, especially in the heat, but totally worth it. I'll show you the view in just a second. But I'm gonna check out the museum first. You have to be a little bit careful when you're exiting here. There's not much space between 
your head in the ceiling and having an expensive pair of sunglasses might not be the best idea if you're going to wear them on your head. This is a nice spot. It's really, really cool in here. I would say probably 20 degrees uh, Celsius or less, so really, really nice, just below room temperature. Outside, it's up in the 30s for sure, so this is just a really nice place to be. really was like Game of Thrones. Right down to all the hooks and the cannonballs and the implements of torture. It's a pretty cool place. All right, let's go back outside and show you the view. clouds coming in there. Looks like it might be pretty bad over Bratislava. But the good news is that it looks like they're a little ways away yet and probably won't be here before I leave. Some people having a good time cruising down the Morava River. It was kind of hot, but cool all, all the same. So as you can tell from the video, there were no small animals. On the way up, I smelled manure. On the way down, I smell manure. No small animals. It's like going into Ikea, smelling the cinnamon buns. And when you get inside, there's no cinnamon buns. That's what it's like. It's false advertising. We have a donkey. I can't believe that was making the entire place smell, though. give it a like by clicking the thumbs up button. Uh, if you want to uh, subscribe, consider subscribing to us by clicking the subscribe button below. And if you want to make sure that you get a notification every time we post a new video, you can hit the bell. That bell will mean you'll get a notification uh, every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching. If you want to go to Devon Castle, then I would suggest taking the bus. It is actually pretty easy. It's actually pretty easy. All you Maybe a two minute walk outside the old city towards the Danube River. Danube River. Danube. To what? My goodness, I can't speak today. It's towards the Danube River. Honi Rad. That sounds like a good nickname for somebody.